Dunham Valley and we're on our way to Osman's house in the Kennebatingan River and to see some uh, pro biscuits monkeys hopefully and orangutans and crocodiles yeah and the hornbill and on the way we stopped to this market we're we just found... driving past on the road and we've found this lovely little market Selamat Duncan let's go oh, and see. see what we can find yeah. barbecues ooh barbecue looks good <laughs> And copy. Looks like there's plenty of uh, stalls about clothing, food, more barbecues. More oh, barbecues. Fish. fish. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what? What's that? What is it? Do you speak English? <laughs> no, uh, no English. No English. Can tell. Can tell. Yeah. tell. Ah. Smells good. Yeah. <laughs> You're the chef? Cook. Yeah. You're the cook. <laughs> we're gonna come back and try, okay? So we're just gonna go for a wander around, maybe grab something to eat and then find our way to our accommodation for the night. Yes. With a little boat ride safari on the way apparently. Yeah, we need to find the jetty to go uh, in the river and uh, Hi. hey! <laughs> and more barbecues. It looks delicious. Shall we yeah. have some? Mm, Let's I'm go. hungry. Bye. Bye. Lila. Oh, it's vegetable. Chili? Mmm. <laughs> mayonnaise? Yes. Do you want cheese? Cheese? Yes. Do you want cheese? Yes. Please. Ah, mana, mana, cheese. They look good. Okay. I'm very uh, hungry. Oh, that's the cheese. <laughs> oh, that's the cheese. That's the cheese. Yeah. Mm. cheese. Tapo, tapo. What's the name again? What's the name? Daya. Murtaba. 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 So, eggs, chicken, vegetables. Hello. Barbecue. Barbecue. What's for dinner? What's your name? Taos. Taos. Ah, show me how you use that. Wow! <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> what do you cook? What is it? Chicken? Oh, uh, no English? Banana. 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 Fried yeah. banana. Uh oh, they're stuck together. Oh. <laughs> Baguette, 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 baguette. Baguette? Baguette? Mmm. Mmm, French baguette. <laughs> Where are we? Okay. Where are we now? Right. Where are we now? We are at Leggett Jetty waiting for. Lepit. Lepit. We're at the right jetty, and yeah. here comes our ride, I think. We're going to. Osman. Osman's house for the night. Bed and breakfast. And he's very famous, he's a specialist in uh, pygmy elephants. elephants and all animals. And all animals. So, um, let's see. Think? It's us, buddy. I think it's us. Okay, cool. Back in, back out, back in, back out, back in, back out, back in. Hello. Fishing hole. Hole, fishing hole. Peaceful on the Kinabatangan River. Ooh. <laughs> and here's your travel buddy Will. Hello. <laughs> Let's go a photo of you. <laughs> for a river cruise with Osman. Hello, Osman. Hi. Is uh, the elephant whisperer? No. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> Oh, 
hornbill there on the back. Kick, 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 kick. Oh, there already two. Nice. Mr. Lim, Mrs. You can wear the pineapple there. Kick, 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 kick. Black and white, right? Yeah, this is oriental pine hornbill. I love fighting because of the food. Also, they do love fighting because of the blood. So, this is macaques. They are called by locals the mafia because they are very naughty and steal everything they can find and they fight and they live in a group. 10 to 20, sometimes to 30. They live in two groups. This is called harem group. One dominant male, arrest female with the baby. That's a good life. One dominant male, uh, they can keep more than 20 uh, female, yeah? Mm -hmm. And the other group called a bachelor group, a boys club. A boys club? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. In a in harem group, whenever the baby grow, uh, come out like a male, the big daddy just be sure they can survive, they kicked out from the group. At so what that, age? Huh? At what age? Uh, around two years, three, three years, years yes, they kick out. See you later. Yeah. After like when they're growing up, or same size like like a like a big daddy, and that time they try to challenge the big daddy to take some uh, female to make their own harem. But they need to fight. Good swimmer, good climber. Swimming? Yeah. The jumping. Papa, the local people believe why the this monkey why they have a big nose where they use for snorkeling. That's the big male, I guess. You can weigh the binocular. Look at the size from the big male. Much bigger than a female. Ow! Ow! Hello! He's hiding his head. <laughs> Do you see the nose? It's quite funny. Do you see the nose? No. I don't. He's looking Big. the other way. Look oh, at this guy. <laughs> ah, hello. It's look like a hook. Is it true that the the locals used to call them the Dutchman because exactly many years ago we didn't know how to call this monkey yeah but first traveling from uh, people from Holland and also how to teach Anna, uh, to teach us how to plant tobacco and when we saw the Holland people big nose big stomach maybe too much beer of course they're coming from Holland very wide yeah they hit by sunny they look a little bit orange so we just call Monet Melanda <laughs> the Dutchman to mock them. So, endemic monkeys, are they endangered? Huh? Are they endangered? No. No? They're getting more and more. More and more? Yeah. The numbers are growing? Yeah. That's good news. They are protected, are I protect guess? Yes, yeah. protected. Same time also, like the hornbill, you kill it at least five or four or five years in the jail. Because uh, hornbill is one of the symbols for a Borneo. Oh, okay, didn't know that. Ah, yeah, see, we can see them in the, on the notes, on the bills. You can see from our money. Yeah, on the money. Yeah. So, four or five years in if jail, you know, if you kill like them. You smoke with one stick. Mm, yeah. Fair enough. We have to protect these little yeah. fellas. Only a bite uh, a tourist from Spain. <laughs> uh, they give you a warning already. Look at the tail. Look at the tail. If you go a little bit closer into the tail, and they give you a snap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.
Tagging bag out, bagging 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 bag out. Bag out, bag out. <laughs> Let's go, next step. Uncle Strap Tom, away. come side. Uncle We're going Tom. to camp in the jungle. Two nights. Two nights. That's gonna be super cool. Jan Jan. Jan Jan. Just arrive at Bakat Garam, Bakat Garam Jetty, Jetty, which is just Cute little village behind. Looks Very like cute. it's gonna storm though. Yeah, and we're gonna take a boat. So we're waiting for a, for a group to go to Uncle uh, Tan's camp. Camp in the Kina Kinabatangan. Kinabatangan River. River. <laughs> And it's gonna be cool, I guess. We uh, can go for night walks, safaris, boat trips, boat cruising, boat cruising. see wildlife. So, yeah, we'll keep you updated, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> On the boat, Jan is a pilot. And what's the name of the guy? Lloyd. And Lloyd. Where are we going? Uh, Uncle Tan. Uncle Tan. Your name? Your name? His face? Just Uncle Tan. Just Uncle Tan. Just Uncle Tan. So everyone has a life jacket, but us. So hopefully we're gonna be fine. We're like the poor people on the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, we're not wrong. Welcome to the jungle, and welcome to Uncle Chan's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's our hut. Cool, I love it. Oh, guys. Hey guys, look at that, it's gorgeous. Excuse us, where is the VIP room? Yeah, it's the VIP room. <laughs> 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 Uncle Tan's camp. Hey. On Kinabatangan River. Our little house above the swamps. And look at our beds. So, very. It's not the reeds, but it's very cool. Mattress and mosquito nets. What else do you need? And that view. Magical. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well, Mommy? I did. Except I had a little mouse. All right, I don't know. Biting me on the toe this Ooh, morning. Little nibble. Nibble, nibble. <laughs> jungle life. Jungle, jungle life. life. <laughs> so we are on the river in uh, Kina. Kinapatangan. Uh, Kinapatangan. And uh, we're going to try to find some wildlife. It's very misty, very eerie. Monkeys, orangutans, and we have nice people behind. <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> no, they don't want to. <laughs> they have enough. <laughs> That's Bye. it. Bye. The man of the jungle. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm, your, I'm your assistant chef. Yeah. You are. Uh, well, I'm a chef. You're chef. The, sous, the sous chef. Sous chef, that's me. And so the you... taste tester. Are you well. ready? <laughs> <laughs> I have to try it to make sure it's delicious. Very good. 
So that's the chef. Yeah. What are you cooking today? Uh, chicken, curry, and... Jenga, did you find some ferns? Yeah, we did do it. Did you do the ferns? No? Um, we didn't have time. <laughs> are you camera shy? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? It's really good. So you had your dinner already? No, I just tried a little bit just to taste it. Some carrots, some pepper, onion, garlic, uh, what that? Cabbage, cabbage and beans. Beans. And this? Spinach. 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 And chicken. Chicken with what sauce? What's what's inside? Curry. 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 Curry chicken. Thank you guys. The best food in um, Borneo is in uh, Uncle Tan. Knock knock. Hello. Yana, are you are sleeping? You? Yeah. I thought you were cooking. No. No cooking. William, Hello. what are you doing? Laundry in the jungle with the water of the river and some salt. Don't have choice, nothing else to wear. Everything is dirty, so. Jungle life, huh? Jungle life. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We're going on a private cruise on the Kinapetangan. Kinapetangan. Kinapetangan River to try to find our Ragutan. So hopefully we're gonna get lucky. And Noemi is a morning person and she's very happy this morning. Look at that. So uh, yeah, we had a very good night camping with the noise of the cicadas and the frogs and we wake up with the gibbons calls. It's very cool. So uh, let's go. Just the sun is rising. It's very nice and misty. And uh, let's see.
the side of the Lukan River, waiting for the rain to subside so we can keep on. It's very wet though. In a minute, that's like. Yeah, I will try. Uh. Willie, are you coming? I'm coming. Let's go and have a breakfast. Three. So, what's the name of know. this? Uh, wild fern. Wild fern. Fern. And we can eat them, yeah? We can eat them, yeah? We're gonna have that for breakfast. It's very juicy. How do you it's cook really that? Just a normal, simple cook. Just garlic. Fry. And oil. Garlic, onion. Onion. And what else? A bit of Little soy bit sauce? oil. Maybe? Salt, yeah. Is this the same one? Yeah, sure, thank you. Jungle fern. <laughs> <laughs> nah, aku banyak sudah. <laughs> and now you say hi to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's quiet. Eh? He loves it, really. I just, yeah. I just, you know. So you have to do what camera shy, but you know. the content. You look really relaxed. <laughs> I'm really relaxed. Yeah. We'll be back in an hour. Mm. Have a good nap. Just relaxing. <laughs> Enjoy your sleep. Ooh. Trouble. Mm. You know, people die because of the king cobra. Yeah. You know that one. Mm. Because they kill them a lot. Okay. So study tried to figure out why king cobra, you know, keep coming to the same place and kill the villagers there. So the guys told me when I mm. same thing, you know, about the king cobra. And he said he said to me like, don't do it. And then you have to read this. I think that was like 20 years ago. And and when I read that, and then he show uh, when you kill the king cobra, and then he fight with you, right? Mm. He got your face, the eyes. Mm. And if if you kill it, and he's just die somewhere, mm. but the friends. I mean, the other king cobra can smell the dead king cobra. Mm. So the the other one will come and go to, you know, his friend's eyes and try to copy all the picture of you. Really? Yeah. I think I've heard of this before. Yeah. Mm. Is that real? That's that's India, why right? they discovered yeah. what's happened in India. People, the same family. That's freaking scary. That's true. Yeah, yeah the same family king uh, kill king cobra. Yeah. They all they all same family die as well. Wow. Yeah. It's like literally like from a gang another king cobra. That's crazy. Like, like a revenge. Can you imagine like a lot of people in the village? Yeah. Why the same family? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why not, not <laughs> other luck. people, you know? They say elephants do that too. If yeah, someone did elephant, that. elephant they don't yeah. they don't copy from their friend, but they remember yeah, you first. They remember. Yeah, so the king cobra, so that's why uh, the guy told me. I mean, like it's kind of like a researcher. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he told me that don't do it. Okay. Right, because it's happened a lot in India, so you don't want these things happen in your country. Or just take its head. So you just run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he get another thing, so uh, uh, information, and then told me like if you have to kill it, so you have to burn. Yeah, ah. Yeah, you have to burn. So the the mm. yeah, the king cobra cannot copy the okay. you know the picture of you. You know? Wow. Yeah. How far the cobra can spit the venom? Um, how many meters can they reach that you? Is, that one is uh, spitting cobra. Ah, it's, it is spitting yeah, cobra. Different ones. No, no, different ah, it's not. It's a different one. Cobra. Ah, king cobra. The king cobra, right. they bite. Ah, okay. And then they inject the venom. Okay. But the spitting cobra we have here. You have here, yeah. Oh my god, they make you blind. Yeah. Yeah, they go for that your one, eyes. They make you blind. They spit. They spit. Okay, so the venom oh, just sure. going in your eyes? Sunglasses yeah. on. <laughs> uh, I'm there. Yeah, some on. Yeah. How far can this put poison? Uh, couple meters. Well, one, two. Two meters. Two meters. About two meters. 
Yeah. Oh, and if you have a little wound, I'm happy I'm over six foot tall then. Yeah. No, well, they, they, they're, they're in trouble. Said, <laughs> the venom is actually, I mean, the acid is only for the eye. Oh, okay. Yeah, to make you blind, to make the enemy blind so they so can they easily can kill it. They yeah. can yeah. escape. Yeah. But the king cobra is actually, we have a lot of king cobra, but it is so rare. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to see. It's yeah. only the big head, right? What? Or is it the one with the yeah. crazy head? And then it it's so rare up. our people die because of the cobra. Yeah, to be honest. It's like uh, Australia. <laughs> you guys have a lot of crocodile there, right? Mm -hmm. And we have the same we have wow. the same crocodile here too. Same species. Right? But we don't get the news like our people die here every single year because of the crocodile. No, we're not. Just this year, recently we have couple like couple of times that like, people die because of the crocodile. But they're not people from here. They actually people Tourists. no. <laughs> we recruit them from uh, Indonesia. Oh. Yeah, because our people we don't walk in the palm oil plantation, but because I you see. know what's yeah. happened in Kalimantan now, why they slash and burn the rainforest? Because they have over three hundred sorry, three hundred million people there. In Indonesia, yeah. they need to survive. So that's why they cut down more forest there. So that's why our job now we're helping them now, we recruit mm. them. Uh. We take them so to work with us in the palm oil plantation, but they don't know we have a crocodile, so they swim. Yes. Oh. They get attacked. It's you know. stupid. Wow. So they just don't know. Yeah, yeah they don't know. Yeah. What the most uh, dangerous animal in Borneo? The well, the most causing more, the most death. Of Elephants course. or no. crocodile? Yeah. Crocodile is the most. Crocodile still, yeah. 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 Not the snake, not yeah. the cat, not the elephant. No. Crocodile. You know, uh, when you guys uh, ask me about the elephant, yeah, actually, the elephant they think, you know, they they, they think twice when they attack you. They don't just go there yeah. and attack you. You know, because they it's happened about with it. me. Um, I have four tourists, you know, and then the other, we have like we split into two group. So the other group they went first. They left us behind. So we don't know the elephants is over there and it's open area. It's only one small tree only one place where I can hide so I hide in a small tree and all the elephants go there and all my tourists just right you know behind me they cry but the two mother you know they give me really good eye contact the big female they just look at me and I just like oh my god this is no good because uh, they are too close to me and a lot of baby is like 20 30 of them together wow. nice. but they'll go around yeah. They don't attack us. Yeah, they didn't attack us. Yeah, I'm so happy that times. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah, it was really uh, wow, scary. Huh? Ah, scary, scary moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah they don't. But that's the best experience I have. I have, but I didn't want to do it again. Mm. It's not you got the lucky. best thing to go to walk in the jungle if the elephants around. So that's why even here, sometimes we get the elephant around this area. But we get a lot of information from the fishermen. If they say the elephants is around, we have to cancel the walk. Yeah. We cannot do any yeah. thing because it's too dangerous to walk in the jungle. Alright, cool. so we go this way. Okay, uh, so. But we go the easy way. Go. Okay, this one. <laughs> so so this, this one, lots of touching. We don't see anything, it's just touch. Okay, I'll show you, I'll show you. Oh, yeah. No, no, you just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. We just won't touch anything. Just it's actually fall from the top. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. it's hanging there, so I don't want you to shake this tree. Yeah. And I don't want you to touch any touch of it, you. yeah? Otherwise, it's fall or collapse. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear that, guys? Don't touch, don't touch this don't, tree. Don't touch fall. this. It's gonna fall. Don't touch the ground. Don't shake it. I'm just, I just need life on the I'm just gonna record it just in case it's falling just, on someone. My back is quite sore and I did not want to bend that much. <laughs> Which tree am I supposed to touch? No! All of the them. one you're touching now. Pull it really hard. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't touch it. <laughs> Ooh, two minutes at least. No. <laughs> I think less than uh, one minute. Oh. But but it's like you know like a noise like this you know it's, it's suddenly you you kill one and then they all stop you know 
Uh, for a few seconds, maybe 30, 40 seconds. Oh. But it's amazing. All cicadas stop. All cicadas stop. When you kill one of them. Yeah, I don't know how, but don't do well. you know. Don't <laughs> I don't know how it's happened. Two, three. One. Bye, Uncle Tawan. Bye, guys. Bye. Bag in, bag out, bag in, bag out, bag in, bag out, bag in, bag out, bag in, bag out. John Zalan. Hi guys, so now we are in the Kinabetangan River. It's the largest river of Sabah. It's more, it's more than 400 kilometers long. And here you will find the highest concentration of animals, especially you can find 10 different mammals. The reasons for that is actually pretty depressing, pretty sad. Uh, in the 19th century, they used this area for um, timber plantations as well, um, the ironwood plantation and later for the palm oil plantation. And uh, so here, yeah, so you will find a lot of animals because they uh, kept uh, what they call a corridor of life. It's where the animals can travel around the bank. And you will find a lot of promiscuous monkeys, which is uh, the mascot of uh, Sabah. They are very funny. They have a long nose and a big belly and they call as well the Dutch monkey, uh, just to mock the Dutch when they were here. But you will see as well oragutan if you're lucky. You can see long tail and short tail macaque. You will see red leaf and silver leaf and as well gray leaf monkeys, uh, cobra, the spitting cobra, pythons and plenty of other animals. So here you will find as well a lot of tourists, uh, but we found a very cool place. It's called uh, Uncle Tan. This will be our local recommendation. It's very cool if you don't mind a bit rough because it's very basic. Uh, you sleep on a mattress on the floor under a mosquito net and you shower with a, with a bucket with the water from the river. Uh, so it's very, very basic, but it's a unique experience and the stuff is amazing. So very, very uh, highly recommended. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hi guys! <laughs> She's getting ready. <laughs> okay, good. And, and again. Hello. Hello! Do you take the money? Yeah. Hey y'all! Uh, so we are just on our way from Denham Valley to... Where are we going? We're going to uh, Oswald... Oswald? <laughs> Let's get it. Hi guys, so now we are in the Kit Kina Kit Betangan River. <laughs> Hi guys, so now we are in the Kita Betangan River. It's actually the. Hi guys, so now we are in the Kina Betangan River. 